Hello there, Mrs. Elke here. I wanted to do a watercolor of some animals that you see a lot of in the springtime, and that would be, of course, these adorable baby chicks. So a friend of mine just had got some baby chicks at their house, and they've been posting these super cute pictures, which totally inspired me to paint some baby chicks. So here are some fun little chickies that you can paint using watercolor, and I kind of played around and experimented with um, watercolor washes and stuff on this one. So try it out, have fun, and uh, hopefully you'll get some adorable baby chicks in the process. All right, thanks so much for watching. If you like these videos, please subscribe below. All right. I'm starting off with just a plain wash of water. Getting the paper wet, not so that it's like puddling, but at least that all parts of it are moist. And then I'm getting lots and lots and lots of paint on my brush, lots of yellow, really trying to fill it. And then I'm adding some yellow circles. Actually, they're more kind of like egg shape ovals to my paper, I'm doing three. And I want the paint to kind of start in the middle and bleed out a little bit. It'll give that kind of soft, fluffy look towards the outside of the ovals. And you can see it's kind of blurring and blobbing. I'm making them a little bit bigger and I'm actually, I've gotten pretty big to the point that they will start to run together, but that's okay. I am adding a little circles for the heads. The same method, lots of paint, not much water because there's already lots of water on my paper. Okay, you can see now my yellow is starting to run together a little bit. That's okay. Adding a little bit of dark to the bottom areas of the chicks with some kind of golden and a little bit of um, yellow ochre. And then I'm just blotting out a little bit in between the chicks so they don't touch too much with some Kleenex. Now that I've let my chicks dry completely to the touch, I'm just maybe a little bit of wet um, inside, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the background. I'm choosing purple because purple and yellow are opposite on the color wheel, so they're called complementary colors. And um, so I know by using purple that that makes the yellow like really pop. I'm not touching the yellow. I'm actually leaving a tiny bit of white around the edges as I do this. And then I'm kind of um, working around the edge and then filling in the rest of the background with the purple. I've got two different purples. One's more of a true purple and the other one's more of kind of like a magenta color. So I'm filling those in. And you can see putting that purple around the yellow really makes that yellow pop like compared to the other two. Just for kicks, I thought I'd throw in a little bit of uh, Viridian green, which is like a blue green, um, just for fun to see what it does. So I threw some of that in as well. Being really careful here along the edges. Uh, my chicks are a tiny bit wet still um, on that side. So if that wet touches the purple then they'll bleed together and make quite the mess but I was too impatient to let the entire thing dry so I'm just being careful. I'm doing the same thing so while it's still wet I'm dropping in a little bit of that blue green but I'm really trying to make the main color of my background the purple magenta color. Again just being super careful next to my chicks. I'm leaving a little bit of white and kind of gives them like a glow. And then filling in the background with more of the purple paint. 
while it's wet, I can kind of do whatever I want and the colors will blend nicely. I won't have any hard lines, which I don't want. I want to keep it pretty soft. Throwing in a little bit of green and then adding some more purple. I have a couple puddles that were forming, so I just blotted those a little bit with a uh, Kleenex to soak up some of the water. I think I'm gonna leave the bottom of the page just white, um, keep it simple. And now I'm going in and mixing some color for the orange um, so I can make the feet. So I'm starting off with just the two lines going down from each of the birds. I'm still using the same brush. I'm adding a little bit of diagonal lines to one side and then straight down to the other for the two on the right. And then I'll go ahead and draw in the feet, the toes. You can see that I had to mix my own orange because I don't have any orange on my palette. So I used some yellow mixed with some red to make an orange color. I got their cute little feet in there. While I have this color on my brush, I'm also gonna draw in the beaks. So I start with a V and then fill that in to make it a triangle. And then I added a little point on the top of the beak as well. So you can really choose whichever direction you want them to be facing. I have the middle one looking off to the right and then I decided to make the right one looking back at them like, hey, who are you looking at? I just start with kind of a triangle and then end up adding a little point to it to make the beak. Now I'm going in and making a dark color. Um, I'm using a mixture of blue and brown to make the eyes and I'm still using my same brush. If you wanted to move to a smaller brush to get those little details, you probably could. Starting with just a curve on the top, a curve on the bottom. And then as I color them in, I'm leaving a little section in the middle uncolored to make that highlight. If you do color them in, you can always add a highlight in later with a white pen or with like a little dab of white paint. Because my other two chicks are looking sideways, they only need one eye. I also decided that the chicks could use a shadow underneath them. So I just mixed a little bit more of the background color, just like the purpley color. My feet weren't quite dry for the middle one, so you can see some of the orange blended in, which, oh well, that is what it is. And then I'm also adding in a little bit more shadow or shading um, on the bottom section of each chick, and then a little bit under the chin. And that I'm just using um, like a more golden color, yellow ochre. Shading the dark side a little bit more. All right. So the only other thing that I am doing too is um, I went back over my feet again after this and then I also added little black dots on the beaks. And um, yeah, taking the tape off. So that has that nice crisp edge. And remember the tape also prevents the paper from rippling. There you have it, masterpiece. Aren't those just the cutest things?